quick. What do you think of when I say November 3rd? If you say, why, Mayor Pam, that was the day in 1954 when the movie Godzilla was released, you'd be factually correct. But for today's purposes, we're talking about the general election coming up on November 3rd. Hi everyone, my name is Pam Canine and I am indeed the mayor of Yellow Springs, Ohio. I'm here in front of the Greene County Board of Elections on Ledbetter Road in Xenia, Ohio. For the next two months, this office is going to get busier and busier as that November 3rd election approaches. Ohio is expected to have a record voter turnout on November 3rd. It, and this will be conducted, don't forget, during a global pandemic. This video is going to walk you through the different steps you have to be sure to take so that you're eligible to vote in that November 3rd election. We want your voice to be heard. We want your vo vote to be counted. So we've called together some Yellow Springs residents to give you some reminders and maybe some helpful tips about voting during this coming year's election. We're gonna start with talking about making sure you're registered to vote. We'll talk about that next. Good afternoon, my name's Wayne Goulden. I'm merely a taxpayer in this town. All of us know that there's really two parts to voting. The first one is getting registered and the second one is actually voting. If you don't get registered, you won't be able to vote, period. And so uh, you know, getting registered is awfully important. If you got one of those letters from La Rosa, the Secretary of State, about two weeks ago, and it was, had the correct address on it, you are good to go. You can ignore me for the rest of the, my little speech here. If you didn't get one of those, you may or may not be registered. The best way to check is to go to the Secretary of State's website and do an inquiry, and you'll get everything you need to know about your particular registration. The website, by the way, uh, all the links here we're going to mention can be found at a, a website we've created. It's called gcvoter.info. That's gc as in Green County, voter.info. So let's say you're not sure if you're, if you're registered and or you moved. You can do registration in one of two ways. You can do it online, which is certainly the easiest way to do it, or you can do it through the form that you mail in or take down to the Board of Education, Board of Election. Rather. If um, there are three requirements really for registering in Ohio. First off, you have to be at least 18 years old by the 3rd of November. Second, you have to be a permanent Ohio resident. And third, you have to be a U.S. citizen. They'll need ID when you go to register. The IDs consist mostly of something that shows who you are and then where you live. An Ohio driver's license and your social security number are usually the things used, like 90% of the time. If you don't have those, there's a whole list of other things you can use to get registered. Really, the state of Ohio has made it pretty easy to get registered, so there really isn't much excuse. So take a look at GC info, gcvoter.info, and uh, and uh, go to those websites if you need to and get all the information right there. So please go out and please vote. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Patty Bates and I'm the former village manager for the village of Yellow Springs and I'm going to tell you about some important dates that you need to know. If you have not yet registered to vote, the last day to register to vote is October 5th. So if you haven't done that, that's the first thing on your agenda. If you want to request an absentee ballot, you have to do that by October 31st. Okay, you can do that at the Board of Elections or you can print out a form and send it in through the mail. There are several places here in the village that you can get those forms. The John Bryan Community Center is one. The Greene County Library is one and the Yellow Springs Hardware Store. So if you don't have that yet, make sure you pick that up. If the last day to return an absentee ballot is in person it's the close of polls on election day november 3rd however if you're going to mail your ballot back in it has to be postmarked by november 2nd or it will not be counted it must be received within 10 days so it has to be received by november 12th 
Election day, November 3rd. Make sure you get out and vote. But there's one last thing I want to tell you about voting. If you want to vote in person but early, there are early in-person voting days and hours at the Greene County Board of Elections. So please make sure that you take advantage of those if you want to take that route and cast your vote. And if you need any contact information for the local boards of election, we will also show you the contact information for the Greene County Board of Elections, as well as the Clark, Clinton, and Montgomery County Boards of Election. So please remember how important it is to get out and cast that vote. Hello, villagers, and uh, good to see you all. This is Brian House, your council president. And, uh, you know, I wanted to really highlight that in order to make sure that every vote is counted, time is of the essence. And so we've got to do these things right now. And I happen to have this envelope. You might have gotten it if you're registered to vote. And it says, please open immediately. I got this the other day, so I'm going to take this as pretty immediate. And this is my application, because I'm registered to vote, to send in a mail-in or absentee ballot, which in Ohio you can do for whatever reason you want, all right? We don't have to explain it. So you've learned from Wayne that that first step is that we gotta make sure that we're registered. And you have until October 5th to do that for the election on November 3rd of this year. The second thing is we gotta figure out how we're gonna vote. And Patty's talking about how you can do early voting or go in on the day like you may have done in the past. But if you feel that it's important to maintain that distancing and be safe, then you can request a mail-in or absentee ballot. Now here's the deal. You have to make sure to do this now, all right? They say that you can do it until October, October 31st, but that is waiting too long. We can't rely on getting that ballot and then getting back in by the postmark date, which is November 2nd, if you're doing a mail-in ballot. So fill this out. You can print it online. We've got forms at the Bryan Center right in the foyer. We're gonna have them at Tom's and also at the train station. And you can also find them at the hardware store or at the library. So you fill this out. All you have to do is check that you're looking at the general election for November. You don't have to worry about your party or anything else. And they will start sending out these mail-in ballots on October 6th, and they will continue to mail those out throughout the election. But again, you don't want to wait, all right? It's very important to do it now to make sure that your vote is counted. And that's the third easy step, all right? Make sure that once you fill this thing out, if you're not gonna vote in person, that you get it in the mail in time or you take it down to the ballot box that's at Ledbetter Road where the Board of Elections is. That's where early voting is happening. That's where your application for absent ba ballots uh, votes can happen as well. And that's where the actual mail-in ballots can also be deposited. So make sure that you get any help that you need. I've been hearing that also Peggy Erskine's gonna set up something at the library in October to help people fill out their ballots, make sure they're signed, sealed, and delivered in the right way. So there's lots of things that you can do and, and that we're ready to help you. So contact the village if you need to. I also wanna give a shout out that we are focusing on the Yellow Springs community, but we want everyone's vote counted across the state and across the nation. So this is a great thing for you to do in your community to make sure that you're getting the message out that every vote must be counted. So register, decide how you're gonna vote, and then make sure that you get that vote in and we're gonna be all set. We're really excited about this election. Important decisions are being made. So take the time and make your voice heard. Thank you. This is a very important year to have a plan for voting. Make sure you think about it now and execute your plan right away. Be timely, don't wait till the last minute. Remember, it's really important for you to get out and vote. There are three ways you can do it. You can vote by absentee ballot, you can vote at the polling places on November 3rd, or if you don't want to do either of those, there are 28 days of early in-person voting at the Board of Elections on Ledbetter Road in Xenia. Get out and vote. Hello again. I, you got to register. If you don't register, you don't vote. 
The deadline is October the 5th. There's several ways to do it, so please make sure you register. If you're not sure, check it out. Thank you. So be safe, get your mail-in ballot, get it in early, and your vote will be counted.